Good morning. Uh, today is Thursday, October the 31st, and this is The Drill. Good morning. Uh, Happy Halloween. I'm Ron, your host, the only true conservative in the United States today because I'm the only one who makes the presumption for the status quo. I'm not a professional, not a professor, lawyer, or doctor. I am a United States Air Force honorably discharged veteran with an associate's degree. I'm a baby boomer and a registered independent. Today I'm going to tell you that conservatives should be the cultural role models in our society and uh, not the liberals and socialists that the left is responsible for most, if not all, of the homelessness in our society, and uh, uh, what to say to Democrats that claim the president is obstructing the impeachment investigation. All that when I come back. Thank you. Uh, Right now, the left is being the cultural role model for our our society. The left sets most of the trends in fashion, the arts, and communication. The right just goes along with the trends, and in so doing, dilutes its influence. Conservatives must lead. It is conservatives that have established American culture, and we should not allow our influence to be arbitrarily pushed aside. Again, the presumption is always made for the status quo, and before we succumb to socialist influences and change what we find acceptable behavior, we should make sure that there is a good reason for that change. Remember, as we think, so shall we act, and as we act, so shall we vote. When I come back, I will explain why the left is at fault for the homeless crisis. Thank you very much. Welcome back. The left is responsible for most of the homelessness in our society, and they are responsible because they dominate pop culture, and part of pop culture is the attitude of tough love. The left has, for decades, promoted something that they call tough love. Tough love consists of narcissism, abandoning your relatives and loved ones. Do your children piss you off? Kick them to the curb. Sick of your parents? Throw them away. Can't get along with your brothers and sisters? Put them on the street. The left in this country has always encouraged narcissism. They are wrong. What to do? There is a saying. Better the world than start with yourself. Be willing to admit your mistakes and learn from them. Resist the narcissistic encouragements of the left. Value your family. Think twice before you dump somebody out on the street. Even calling the police and having them arrested may be a better choice. When I come back, but President Trump is now accused of obstructing the impeachment process. Welcome back. The uh, left is now blaming the victim. President Trump is being arbitrarily accused of obstructing Adam Schiff's so-called impeachment proceedings. We know that these so-called proceedings are an effort to increase pressure on the president and his supporters. Pressure for the president to resign or refuse re-election and pressure on the president's supporters to vote for somebody else. President Trump and his supporters are the victims here. We have been the victims of pettiness and vindictiveness ever since Donald Trump took office. If any of the socialists in your life try to demoralize you by making the false accusation of obstruction, shame them by telling them that they are blaming the victim. Back in a minute. Thank you very much. Welcome back. And in conclusion, I have told you that the conservatives should be the cultural role models in our society and not the liberals and socialists, that the left is responsible for most, if not all, of the homelessness in our society, and how to shame the Democrats that claim that the president is obstructing the impeachment investigation. 
Who is the true conservative? He is the person that understands that conservatism is not just about politics, but culture as well. He is not selfish, but minds his own business. He acts like an adult. He's patriotic and uses common sense. He expresses what he knows and does so with absolute certainty. He makes judgments, refuses to speculate, speaks clearly and definitively, and is not afraid to say no. He is open-minded, asking why rather than why not. He is consistent, credible, and influential, not ashamed of his existence, unafraid to learn or correct his mistakes. He is a normal American, and he is better than the socialist. He is a better friend, father, brother, family member, and a better person, period. You have to know that. If you don't know with every fiber of your being that being a true conservative is best, then you are wasting your time. And that brings me to the conclusion of another episode of The Drill. Remember that the left has no authority, no power, and they can't win. True conservatives know that nothing is inevitable. Thank you for listening, and have a great day.